Hello and welcome to this conversation with April Rose Gabrielli. This is just the first six minutes of our conversation. We talked a bit about working with John Velasco, who I had on this channel a while back, maybe you remember. That was a really fun conversation. What an amazing life that guy has lived. We talk about how she came to work with him and about when you try to make things happen versus kind of just being open to them happening and attitude and aliens and just a lot of random stuff in the next video it's mostly about her dealing with her diagnosis with epilepsy and the misconceptions people have about that and so many things so i hope you'll stick around for that longer conversation and yes thanks for being here Check out her music. Oh my goodness, did I mention she's stinking talented? Cause she is. I'm just gonna play some clips of her real quick so you can hear for yourself. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we go. It's so cool to connect with you. Welcome. Yeah, I know. To the Epic Kate Show. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Since I chatted with John Velasco and he told me to look you up and he just ranted and raved about how talented you are. And I first heard you singing and I was like, oh, oh my God, your voice is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, John, as well. Yeah. He's my champion, luckily. So that he chose to work with you, seeing your potential. Yeah, that's crazy. I've never had a manager before. I never really wanted one. He, at some point in his life, decided he was never going to manage again. And then <laughs> at, I don't know, it was sometime late 2019 or early 2020, we just kind of started working together and it just worked. We're still working together. Wow. That's just no questions. Yeah. I love that. You both of you were like, I don't need that. I'm that's not for me. <laughs> and then you yeah. And then it just worked. Yeah. It just worked out. I don't know, which I think it should be. I tell people a lot. Um, and I even I've learned this a lot from experience too. work with some if you can, you know, work with someone test things out, experiment, and and then make the commitment. You know what I mean? Especially in business, especially when it's kind of almost like real estate. I think that's the most common thing I can relate it to where, you know, the people you work with in the music industry often are not taking immediate pay, um, especially managers, booking agents, things like that. So they're not taking like an everyday pay cut from you, but they work for you and their work ethic and your work ethic eventually determines you know the success and, and their income in some way or another like kind of like a real estate agent or a broker or something like that so um it, I, it's important to kind of like i got lucky enough that i could actually talk with john work with john he was able to give me opportunities um that really were great and i was like okay i got it this guy's awesome <laughs> like, if he wants to work with me i'm definitely gonna like keep him around so um it's and he's definitely been around it makes me think too about just being open to you never know when it's going to work out that the right person's going to come into your path yeah because funny enough i actually i met him at uh I, I played three songs just on the piano at this party um that i basically got tagged into because someone else couldn't play so a friend of a friend of a friend got recommend you know recommended me to play at this thing and it was a really random time i was really down and i just got back from a really big tour and i was having a lot of personal issues so i was like i'll just do whatever right now so i took the show and i knew it was like you know just an event like a charity event one thing led to another john was there and he was the sound guy and i just thought he was this really nice sound guy but throughout the night i realized i was playing his company's party <laughs> so he's like he's the head honcho of this beautiful space and incredible company 
uh, does amazing things in collaboration with another company um, that was hosting the event. And then I met amazing people that night, people I still talk to this day. And it was from three songs in one event on a whim, you know? So like you said, you just never know. <laughs> you just never know what can happen or what can appear in your corner. Yeah. That's and a beautiful animal. <laughs> one of my cats. Um, Hi, kitty. It's like people try to make things happen in their own way. Like how many people he's, he's turned down because they just didn't have the right attitude. Yeah. And it, I mean, I feel the same way too, like where, you know, you, you do have to be choosy and, you know, and be a little picky. Um, but again, like, I feel like you just know when something's supposed to be happening and you, you follow through with that. Cause I, I think like a lot of your career is work, but I think a lot of it's also luck. You know, yeah. so you just have to work enough that you're ready for the opportunities that come up kind of based on luck and circumstance. It's such a lie when people talk about that it's just just hustling. <laughs> yeah. If like if just working hard was enough to be a millionaire, then there wouldn't be any poor women women in, in Africa. Like Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot of factors at play. I mean, just even geographically. Yeah. You know, I mean, like there's, we were, I was watching something about all the different planets they've been discovering and some are like very related to the atmosphere and the climate of earth. And, you know, I, I don't know, um, don't quote me on this, but I know one of the things, for example, was like, you know, if there was just a little bit more water on this planet, it would be just like earth. But that's to say, like, if we had a little less water, there wouldn't be able to be any human life on the earth. So it's like all, so many, like we don't realize how many small factors actually add up into this humongous picture. So like you said, it's like just anything could be, you know. Yeah. So before yeah. I get into the things that I wanted to talk to you about, do you believe in aliens? <laughs> do I believe in aliens? Um, I wouldn't call them aliens. I definitely believe that there's something else is out there. I mean, it can't as much as this human race would like to believe we're very unique and very special in all of these special ways, <laughs> things existed prior to us, things exist now, uh, concurrently to us and things will exist after. So yeah, I guess, I guess if you want to call them aliens, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're aliens to somebody too, probably though. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. You, you brought up, you brought up science, uh, not science. Um, the, the solar system so I just had to ask um, yeah of course so when you talked about the fact that you had been going through a rough time leading up to that special concert was that to do with your epilepsy so actually at that point I was not diagnosed with epilepsy like I said to hear the rest of the conversation stay tuned her very first solo EP is coming out yesterday yes so you should check it out to all the places that you can get music you can find it and i just really want to support her so yeah thank you i will put all the links to everything down there in the description because i just really want to see her just do go all the way i want to see her do wet with pink like oh she's so cool Okay, and look out for the conversation, the rest of our conversation where we talk about epilepsy and supporting people through, through this very misunderstood sickness. And yeah, I'll see you there. Hugs, Nostrils of Death.